All right, Elite Club 3 here. Um, this is the 500 card order. So I'm gonna. It's in one of these huge boxes. I mean, this thing weighed like 60 pounds when it came in. I don't know why I kicked it, but. Um, so we're gonna do, do, do the video and see how the order went. All right, Elite Club 3 here, and uh, let's get to the first package. 2001 Tops debut, Ladinian Tomlinson 7. So. Beautiful card. Um, not really much else I can say about it. <laughs> it's an on card. It's a seven. I was more expecting an eight, but that's the way it goes sometimes. And then this is a base uh, rookie watch Vic eight. So that's disappointing as well. Um, a lot of these, like especially this one, a very low end Vic rookie. You're expecting a nine or ten to kind of make it worth your while so when you do get an eight it's definitely disappointing but um it's your own fault so <laughs> can't really blame PSA uh here is an upper deck game gear Tom Linson to 500 nice looking card and uh a lot of these are going to be in the store I'm I'm going to guess 300 or more 300 to, probably 300 to 350 of these will be in the store so if you guys see a card in the order that you like um, check back in the store within the next two to three weeks and they they all should be in there it just takes time for me to get these listed uh, here's, here's a, a game gear 7 this is a very sensitive set though you see the white chipping on the corners um, yeah it, it, it takes a lot more time for me to, to list um, graded stuff this is like the tops heritage one I was gonna keep it for the uh, registry but 7.5 is kinda shabby I thought it looked like an 8.5 when I sent it. Here's the first 10. Um, Marshawn Lynch. Actually a pretty cool card here. And this one is uh, just the uh, base version, but PSA 10 on that. we got Cam Newton. This is the base tops one. A mint 9 on this one. Uh, this is a Fleer Premium Star Ruby Tortoise 7. It's actually got a low print run, so I, th I thought it was neat. It really doesn't look that bad to me, but maybe they got there's something that I missed on this one for sure. <clears throat> it's a PSA 10 of a possible Hall of Famer. I don't know. 03 Ultra Bolden, the base Ultra in the FSU uniform 10. We got Luck. This is the base score, not the SP photo. Nine. And I think his stuff's starting to cool. It's because he doesn't play. It's the only play ever. Uh, Steve Young. Sign of the Times. I, I pulled this in a hobby box probably two or three years ago. But uh, Mint 9 on this one. That's actually a neat looking card. BYU. This is very disappointing. So this is a base Bowman Far. So obviously I was expecting a 10. And I got an 8. So that's just shabby. Uh, here's a base Bowman Dan Marino 10, which is cool. We got a, a Dream Team 5. This is, I think this is the worst card that you'll see in the order. So a PSA 5, Barry Sanders, Dream Team. I, this, this insert set's always been cool to me. Um, when I sent it, I was expecting like a 9, so I don't know what I missed. That's a little em embarrassing. Um, so here is a prestige base McCaffrey. This was actually just pulled from a pack and they usually come pretty good out of the pack. With 17 prestige though, there's dark borders on the back of the card so it's often chipped up. So that's just something to look out for if you, if you want to send in a uh, low tier card such as that. Here, here's a Mahomes. Now he's a chief and normally I would have kept the card. I got this in a pack but I don't. I, I'm not a fan of this card. It's just pretty ugly actually it's not an action shot it's just it doesn't look good to me so <laughs> you guys got it graded and I'll throw it in the store I'm sure somebody wants it uh, Don Russ McCaffrey's I think we got three of them so we got a, a mint nine this is just base Don Russ and then we got a ten and a nine so did, did okay on those ones and then we got a pretty cool Tomlinson in here we got Fleer Legacy base to 999.85 so we're off and going here.
Oh, this is sick, guys. So, this is probably one of the top five coolest cards in your order. Uh, Moss 98 Finest with uh, no protector, PSA 10. That's a refractor. That's just filth. <laughs> the back looks so obvious that it's superimposed. Look how big his shoulder pads are. Looks like that game from the uh, late 90s NFL Blitz. <clears throat> There's that one. And we got a cool little Tomlinson here. This is actually the Upper Deck Gold. I can't remember if I snapped this out of a Beckett 9 or what. But it got an 8. Um, yeah, there's a little problem here with this corner on the back. But the uh, overall eye appeal of this card is great. Look at this guy in the background. I, I never really noticed that until now. He must be one of the guys at the shoot taking pictures. or That could just be Chargers practice. I don't know. Uh, Philip. This is just an, a neat card. Um, I think when it's all said and done, he will be a Hall of Famer. And that, that might leave a lot of people saying what, but his stats are ridiculous, and he's been consistent, consistently good for, what, over 10 years now? Um, this is going to go into the James uh, Registry, which I actually have pretty solid numbers on that, so these should just help out a little bit. This is the Ultra second year gold medallion and we've got the wave of the future which is a, a really sick card a, a mint nine on this wave of the future um now to me this card is kind of lame and most times i won't i will not collect cards for registries that i that i don't like so <laughs> but um when this card was and it's kind of like it's a mini if you ever watch my videos i always talk talk sh shit on mini cards but I'm gonna keep it, put it in, into the registry. It's the Bazooka Mini with like little cartoon guys behind him. Um, here is an. I don't know. I don't know why he got benched, but that's a whole other topic. But mid nine. Uh, flight team. This is for the registry as well. So we're gonna add in some cards and see if it helps boost me up a little bit. I don't. I don't think it will. This is just cool because Beltron, you know, he just announced his retirement a couple weeks ago, and uh, it's numbered to 2700, and it's just cool because it's SP authentic and it's got the uh, the future watch, which, which is something that I loved that they did from back in the day. So a mid nine on this, it's not a rookie to me. His rookie is 97. I, I know his first card is 95 top straight, but the the picture is messed up, so that that ruins the whole card for me. This is just a cool parallel of. A, Fantastic player. This is 17 Elite Blue. It's numbered out of 15, so that's a mid nine. So overall, not bad so far. And for my uh, next order, I actually have my brother who's got a great eye for cards. Uh, I I kind of take a quick glimpse at the cards that I want to send, and then I have him double check them and see if he finds any flaws that I miss and he actually finds a lot of them because I don't, he, he just does a great job at it so I'm, I'm thinking my next 500 card order is going to be a, a little bit better and I'm, I'm still prepping that one I'm, I'm at about 270 uh, here is a finest 13 Nolan Arenado PSA 10 that one's in the store I think this whole stack of cards that I'm about to show is in the store uh, I, I don't list Vic cards in the store and if I do they're always <laughs> the price is always really high just because He's a PC guy, but this is the top debut. Beautiful PSA eight on that one. We got this one. I was gonna keep it for the registry, but an eight. I'm just not gonna put an, an eight from a base tops third year card in there. We got the upper deck victory. This is an eight too, so that was a little disappointing. But this is a tough set, and I think it's off center on the back, and the, and and the front, and the whole outline of the card. The the borders are black, so these are often these often come just mangled in the mail i mean what i'm showing you are the best of the best of, the, of all cards that i get ebay comc so I mean, this is the best of the best from what i saw uh this is actually pretty this card is worth like 20 or 25 bucks but it's skybox z force kobe rookie mint nine so there is some basketball in here not a ton uh here's a cook's immaculate collection 48 of 49 We got Kareem Hunt certified to $4.99. That's kind of a weak patch there, but this is the base version. 
I know we got a bunch of judges here. So I mean, all these white Bowman cards and this, the same with new modern tops. They're not tough to slab. So I don't know if this card's worth raw. Probably five bucks now, but it's worth about forty in ten form still. So I I had a bunch of them sitting in a box, and I think they were in sleeves. So the the corners ended up being in okay shape. So there's five tens here, and they're all in the store listed at forty. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell at that price. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'm not really not worried about it. I mean, it is off season for baseball, so uh, Upper Deck Air Academy. I did not keep this one because it's an eight. I was looking for some. I was looking for like eight five at least. And then we have the Upper Deck Exclusives eight of LeBron and another eight of LeBron. So I did just piss poor job on these, which is disappointing. This is a second year Bowman LeBron. It's an awesome picture though. An eight on that. We got this edge. I mean, this thing's just. It's an, it doesn't look that good in, in person. It's a seven, so. This is just a, a card I got in a pack when I'm opening up some boxes of Donruss in the summer, and it's a four net 10. And we got Derek Carr. This is the high number SP Mint 9. And his 2014 SP Authentic stuff's gone through the roof because it's the same design as the Brady. Here's a Brady insert. This one actually already sold, so it sold for like 20 bucks. So it's the certified accomplishments red. Can't talk to 99. We got a Charles. This is just like a really, really low end card. I was expecting a 10 and throw it in the PC. I got a nine, so I just threw it in the store. Uh, badass Vlad card, out of 10,000. Diamond Kings 97. So third year Vlad seven. This disappointing, but this set's really, really tough, guys. I was hoping for like an eight five on it. Uh, green nine on the SP Authentic, which. I was expecting a, a 10 on that. Excel Vlad 8. So I mean, these are kind of the stinkers of the order. We got a Jeter 14 Finest 10. So I won't grade like base of uh, vets that often. And, unless it's somebody like Brady, Jeter, guys like that. Uh, another one of these. This one actually already sold last night for like 12 bucks. 12 bucks plus shipping. <coughs> Tony Gwynn 9. And then we got this Peter, which is an 8 from a uh, 94 upper deck. So a lot of people watch the videos and they're kind of questioning, you know, you send this and you get an 8. And is that a waste of money? And to me, no, it's not because I, I checked the uh, Terra Peaks for the last year on this card and they've all sold within like the 5 to $7 range and I paid $6 to grade it. I was expecting like a 9 or a 10. So, I mean, even when I don't get the grade that I want, I can still break even on a ton of these because they're slabbed and people look. All right, here we go. Let's continue on. Um, so on these Topps Chrome uh, Moriotas, I was expecting pretty much 10. So um, although this is not a crazy disappointment, it's uh, mild. So, but it's not, it's not a bad card. PSA 9 Mint Mariota Base. Um, pretty cool. Then we've got uh, Xander. This is the uh, Bowman paper. So, mint nine on this one. And a lot of the cards from this order are already into the store. So, if you guys see one you like or you want for your own PC or for your PSA uh, registry, just uh, check the store for them. Um, Anthony Barr. This is actually this is just something out of a pack a few years ago, but it's 14 Spa. PSA 10. That's the base version, the uh, low number, which is under 100. Um, here's a, it's it's a Bowman paper. So when you're spending time grading Bowman papers, you, it's su it's such a low value card that you should pretty much expect a 10 or kind of know what, what you have if you're sending this in because there's not a ton of value to gain from these. I just uh, I think Devers is a great player and the card looked nice to me. So um, there's some more judges in here too. And uh, these I was I was expecting tens on most of them, and I I did pretty well. But um, this is just kind of like his Bowman base rookie. It's not the Chrome, obviously, but nine. We got another nine. I think these are all. Yeah, so we got five nines in a row on this card. And these are actually all in the store. 
Um, Moncada, this is actually the Bowman Chrome Rookie PSA 10. It's a neat looking card, and uh, I've, I've actually I purchased a lot of these last summer, about 25 of them, and there were only like three I thought that were good enough to grade because the surfaces were all scratched on them. So that's a set that might be a little more deceptive than you think. Um, so here's some judges. These are the ones that got tens, so there must have been one minor imperfection on all those nines, but these were the tens, judge base. Uh, I, don't, I don't collect judge, so. Here's a Beckham Jr. This is just a base tops prime, but I saw that in the past year that this card's gone for about 20 to 25 bucks in PSA 10 form. So that that's just kind of what makes it so much fun for me to send in these uh, large orders. You take a card like this, it's worth maybe a dollar raw. You get it slabbed as a 10 and you, it might sell for $25. So. Um, of course, you have to, you pay the six dollars, but um, it's just uh, an, another aspect of the hobby that's so fun. So uh, Mike Evans, this is the Topps Finest Refractor Rookie PSA 10 on this one. This set's very easy if you check your surface and check your back for dings. We have Derek Carr, a, a couple of the Platinum X Fractors. This one's a nine, and this one's an eight. So. A little uh, shabby with that eight. Um, here's the the platinum Dica of car. This one got a ten. And then we have a Beckham uh, Bowman Chrome base ten. So a lot of low low end cards in that stack right there. Toss the box. Let's start right there, and we'll do this box. So Patrick Mahomes, I am going to start up a, a PC of him. I think it's a great time to buy him. We're not sure how his career is going to unfold, but he is a quarterback, and quarterbacks tend to hold their hobby better and play longer. So he seems like he's going to be a good player. And obviously I'm biased because I'm a Chiefs fan at a time where it's tough to be a Chiefs fan. Uh, <laughs> all right, enough of the rants. So this is an, an Aspirations Red to 85-10. We have... Uh, one of the coolest cards in the order, in my opinion. Fitzgerald Topps Chrome Refractor Rookie Mint 9. Beautiful card. He just passed somebody yesterday. Can't remember what it was. Might have been receiving yards or receptions. Uh, Patrick Mahomes. This is the base version to 49. A nice clean 10 on this one. Tomlinson Tops, PSA 9, Mint. This set's really, really tough, guys, I'm, I'm telling you. I don't know what the cards come like, come, look like when they come straight from the pack, but for all the raw ones I've bought, I rarely, rarely ever send one in and actually get a 10. Um, I, I do get some 9s from here to there, like this one's a beautiful, one of the nicer ones. I've, I've probably bought 10 or 15 of these LTs. This is one of the nicest ones I've gotten through uh, the mail, so... This is actually an impressive grade too, and it's the Hot Prospects Postmarks from 2001 of LT. It's got a high uh, numbering of 1775, but it will go into the registry. I'm at nine on that one. And then, so I've honestly never seen anybody sell a Bowman or a Bowman Gold. See how the the uh, his name is in gold. That's how you know it's gold, and this is kind of like purple or blue. So I these were the nicest copies I had, and they're both eight. So. Um, the problem with this card is the entire border on the front and back is black. So you're going to have a little chipping, and I think PSA just not a huge fan of this set. So Eights on those. We got the Bowman's Bests. Um, did pretty good on these. This is just a slick looking card. They're out of 2499. So two PSA 9 mints on these LTs. Um, I think we got a. Yeah, this this was a good one. So a Topps Chrome Refractor Vic um, PSA nine, so nine ninety nine. It's almost impossible to get a ten in these guys because you get little surface dimples or scratches, or there's always something going on with this set. Now this one, um, I this was kind of like a card I just wanted slab. I didn't have high expectations for the grade, but it, it did get a seven, so. I mean, it's not like anything to write home about on a, a modern card, but it is a cool little uh, on-card Vic to 100. So it's a seven. Uh, it's number nine out of 100. We've got the Bowman Chrome. I think there's a couple of these. 
actually the next one's the autograph. So here's the base one, Mint 9. That one's out in 1999. And we have the one that is an autograph. This is actually a Beckett 9 that I wanted snapped so I could put it into my Vic uh, registry. And uh, it's checked out with a PSA 9. The auto's a little faded, which can happen from time to time on cars that are, you know, 17 years old. But overall, nice looking car. Um, here's, a, here's a Pat Mahomes Blue. So I did good on this. I got a Mint 9. This is just a badass looking set. They're out of 15. I mean, I would put this up with how um, I would compare this to Prism Golds, which are out of 10. I like them both about the same. They're just, I, I love the short printed parallels that, that they've put out recently. I think, I think they have great um, value for down the road. So here's one that's a very low end card, but I, f I figured if it looks perfect, let's just try to get a 10. So we got the 10 on the Elite Series, Mahomes. Uh, badass Fred Taylor. Upper deck with the with the slick photography back in the late 90s. This one got a mint nine. We have a Bowman's Best Moss. Uh, for the most part, if you have a clean surface, on front and back, you don't have any dings, you're going to get 10 on this set. It's pretty easy, kind of like Topps Finest 98. So Bowman's Best Moss. Um, this is a very tough set. I think this is a pop one for PSA 10s. There's only one 10. But it's caught in the draft with black borders. So the odds of getting a, even a mint 9 is tough. So this one got an 8. And then this one was for the registry. Nothing impressive here. Um, black Diamond can be a little tricky. This was actually one of the nicer copies. It's, there's a little white on those corners, but overall, um, it looks pretty good. So that's out of 22.50. Then we have a Bowman PSA 9 Mint. So, next box. We've got some Mariotas. So, Pretty shabby on these, an 8.5 on the base Mariota and a 9, so nothing crazy there. Um, we've got the, uh, this card's extremely, extremely common, but it, I think a 10 goes for about 15 to 20, so this one looked great. Got a 10 on it, it's SP Authentic Base. Uh, we have some uh, Mariotas, these are all 10s, so these are the base Topps Chromes, and this set is just easy. If, if you guys ever broke any Topps Chrome or have bought it through uh, Comps or uh, eBay. You'll, you'll come to find out that for the most part, if you check your backs and there's no dings and the front's not scratched up bad, you're gonna have a great chance at a 10. So it's not like a challenging set at all. Um, here's a Beckham 9. So this is the high number SP, different photo, and it's card number 121. So a PSA 9 on that. I was looking for a 10 with the white borders. Very simple set to grade. Uh, here's another Mariota. That's a Topps Chrome 10. Um, just a, kind of a, a neat insert. It's called a a uh, cut above from 15 upper deck, and it got a mint nine. So, and then lastly, we got a Rogers. This is Panini Prism Fireworks, and it's the refractor. So a mint nine. I was looking for a 10 on that one. This is the kind of card that you can buy for a, a couple of bucks, and if it gets a 10, you can sell it for 30. And that's the type of value that I like to look for in these bulk orders. I actually have the most fun with the uh, bulk orders. Um, so we've got some more cards. These are all in the story too. So Bowman Prospects, uh, Mancata, very, very low end card because it's just paper, but PSA 10 on that. And then we have his top space. I think there's a variation in the White Sox jersey, but this one also got a 10. So. Mankata, I don't know what's going on with this hobby. I know he didn't get off to the scorching start many expected, but he still, I think he played fairly well enough for a, a rookie. Uh, top prospect for the Braves, Ronald Acuna. This is his rookie from 17 Chrome, PSA 10 on this one. Um, same kind of deal with these. I bought about a 15 card lot, and there were only two or three I thought that were good, good candidates. Just a, a lot of scratching. Uh, here's the Chrome rookie of Mankata 9. We've got Brendan Rodgers. This is his paper from 15 draft. I think he, I think he's going to get a call up next year. This, this this kid looks like the real deal too. He's got a crazy crazy bat. Um, here's a judge. So this is pretty shabby. An eight on this one. I, I must have missed a 
a, a ding on the white. If you don't look close enough, then you will make some mistakes here. Um, so there were about five cards in my order that, that actually came like this. So I put a little piece of blue tape on them. You see how the, it's just completely cracked? The slabs, don't, you can almost pull it apart. Um, this is very rare. I'm not going to make a hu huge fuss over it. I'm just going to send PSA, and I'm sure they'll take care of me. With maybe a voucher, or if I send them in, they'll uh, re-slab them. So that one's got a defect. It's a mint nine. This is another caught in the draft moss eight. So sent two and got eights on both, and that's pretty much a card that I probably bought it for about three bucks, and it'll probably sell for around I don't know ten bucks. Uh, Fred Taylor, Topps Chrome. This is just a very low end card. I think on comps you can get these for like sixty cents, which is just ridiculous because this wasn't like you don't you don't get a rookie per pack in Chrome Chrome ninety eight. It was tough to pull that moss back in the day when it was hot. Um, here's another tough set. So these are kind of like the challenging sets that I'd like to try to get slabbed out at 9 or 10. So this is uh, Skybox Premium Primetime Rookies Moss 8. And uh, they just lend to a lot of chipping. And you, you don't see a lot of 10s of them pop up. So you kind of got to do the work yourself and try to find one. Uh, here's a Fitzgerald Bowman 8. So I mean, a lot of these are some of the disappointments. Um, I was looking for like a, a mint 9 on this to put into my Fitzgerald registry. And we failed there. And then we didn't do too good on this one either. This is a Moss Skybox Thunder insert called Starburst. But it's got those dark borders, and that's, that's one thing that can really, really hurt you. And then we have a Moss. Um, this is an 8 of the base one, so that's pretty disappointing. And then a 7. This is one I just kind of wanted slabbed. I think it's got a bad surface. I think it's got some scratching going on. So that's what's really, really uh, hindering this card. So a PSA 7 on this. This is the Interstate Refractor. This was a, re a really tough pull. And a, a really cool card, too. We got the Skybox Premium 8.5. So overall, I think I did pretty bad on the Mosses. Uh, most of the Mosses were bought from ComC. And they might look great in the picture. And e even in person, you might think you have a nice looking card. But... Um, it's just it, it can be a challenge um, so this is one I just wanted slab I was hoping for a 7 it got a 6 this is contenders 98 so this is what you're gonna expect because this whole left um, the side and, and the uh, edge is often just chipped up white so anytime you see one that's clean it's very rare or it's been colored I've seen a lot of them that have been colored and this one has like an edge ding going on too Here's another Fred Taylor Topps Chrome Base. I, I was looking for 10s on these. I, I didn't. I, I thought they looked pretty good when I sent them in. And ex extremely low end card here. Pinnacle 93 Nolan Ryan. I don't know why. I, I just like sending some of these in just because they're like classic base cards. And if, if you do get a 10, it just looks sweet. So an 8 on the Nolan Ryan. We got the Bonds Toys R Us rookie. This card still looks pretty nice to me for an 8. So Black Borders, a little off centered. And then Triple Play. Griffey. So an eight on an eight on this is definitely disappointing. But you're definitely challenging yourself with black borders, so that's those. The camera's holding up for now. Alright, so this card was actually I I bought a card from somebody and they sent me this for free and I was like, this is a neat card. Because <laughs> it's uh Peterson's rookie year and it's got Tomlinson on it. So uh, most of the time I don't like dual cards, but if it's got two players like this on, then I'm definitely in. So mint nine on that one. Alright, next up, we've got an Andre Johnson. Now this one is very cool. It's the uh, gold medallion. not numbered but PSA 9 mint on that one um, Ronald Acuna we've got a couple of these so these are PSA 10s the base chrome from 17 um, a, a cool card to me just for the fact that I, I respect the work that Charles gave the Chiefs over his nine year stint with us doesn't play much anymore with Denver but we still got a a tribute to the man. Uh, this is the, the refractor version 10. So there are there are gems out there on uh, CUMC. You just gotta look pretty damn hard. Here's a uh, Russell Wilson. This is a uh, PSA 10 of the SP Authentic 12 base. We 
We got Andre Johnson, Bowman, 2003, Mint 9. Um, kind of shabby on these next two or three, actually. So Peterson, this is the Variation SP. Um, very neat looking card. Let me tilt this camera. It seems a little off. Um, PSA 8 on this one. Then we've got Marshall Falk, Select Rookie 8. So I was expecting like a 9 or 10 on this. So I don't know what I missed, but definitely botched this one. So an 8 on the Select Falk. Um, this was just kind of a BCCG 9 or 10. It came back a 7. That's about what I expected. I was hoping for an 8, but uh, it's got white, white chipping everywhere. But 7 on the Vic. Um, this was a neat card in the order, even though it's probably not worth a ton. It's the uh, Star Rookie's Edge from from 99, and uh, it got a PSA 10, so. Here's a Peyton Manning um, Chrome 99, so we got a couple of 99 Chromes coming up. And this one got a Mint 9. This is the, it's not the base, it's the Interstate. So, kind of has his home, town, home state in the back, which is uh, Louisiana. Here's a Ricky Williams 8, so this is pretty damn shabby. So, I mean, uh, there's definitely disappointments in this order. I think my next one will be a little better than this one. I think it's all center top to bottom. Here's a low tier insert gold team of Peyton Manning 9. We've got a couple of berries, so these were uh, just pack pulled cards that I thought. Here's Barry Sanders. So, 95 score bases, a couple of 10s on these. Keep one, and then I'll put one in the store, so somebody have a chance at one for their registry. And we got a Falk Bowman, this is second year, it's 95 Bowman, mint 9, so. Uh, here's a Russell Wilson Spa, mint 9, we saw the 10 a little bit ago. Here's the 9. Um, Dak Prescott Donruss 10. This is just the base Donruss, but I think this is like a $40 card. This one looks off center to me. It looks fatter on the left, but PSA let it let it go through. So um, here's a Zeke score. There's a couple, well, three of them, yeah. So this one got a mid nine, and this this set's easy because it's just it's white borders and they come fresh from the pack. So a mid nine on this one, and then a couple tens. So. They're pretty good on those. And we got a Joe Mixon. <clears throat> when I sent this order in, it was like right before the uh, season started, and there's a lot of hype for Joe Mixon, and he he's played okay. It's just a card that looked neat to me. It was the the purple elite to 99. It got a PSA nine. So that's those ones. Some more. Uh, uh, Mariota, so this is the top scrum base, so I did fairly well on these top scrum bases, but I mean there's not a whole lot that can go wrong, so don't pat yourself on the shoulder too hard. So PSA 10s on these, we got some, we, we got a platinum, this is Topps Platinum Base, PSA 10 on the platinum. That, that's uh, one thing that Topps did, it seems like a lot of their sets were not hard to grade, especially the base stuff, and it's something that I liked about them. Here's a McCaffrey. This is actually a, a uh, parallel. It looks a lot like the base, but it's got kind of darker silver going on here. It's out of 100. It's a press proof silver 8.5, so not too strong. Um, this is the purple McCaffrey in 8.5 on this one. It's out of 99. Mariota, I sent this in because it's got s such a short print, and I'm a huge fan of these cards. If it would focus, but it, it is 9 of 10. It's the purple from 17 certified and it got an 8.5, so a little shabby. Uh, this is sick. This is the Breeze Blue, 17 Elite Blue to 15 Mint 9. Take that all day. Um, we got Fournette with a purple to 99 Mint 9. That's a neat looking one too. Another Mariota. This is the base one Mint 9. So I, 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 I uh, busted a bunch of boxes of this stuff a couple years ago and I just had a ton of uh, raw Mariotas, probably 25 of them and I just sent the best ones in. Uh, here's a Peterson Blue. So this set came out in the summer and I hadn't got him over into the Saints uniform yet. And of course now he's on the Cardinals but this is the Blue to 15, Mint 9. Then some more Mariotas. Um, this is the base and it got 10. 
whoops and then the uh, the refractor got a 10 as well if you see the little shine on that one we got a McCaffrey this is the red or they, they called it purple but that's clearly red that might be a uh, mislabel to 149 Uh, Mariota Chrome Refractor, Mint 9. Here's a Tom Brady I tried out. I bought it for, I think, 15 or 20 bucks. It's out of 25. It's the uh, Panini Elite Draft Picks, which is actually a pretty weak set. I've, I've noticed most of the hits you get in there are practice squatters or guys that aren't even on a team. <laughs> so I'm not going to be busting any of that. But 8.5 is not terrible. Uh, Fournette, this is the Elite Series. This was a nice set that came out in the, which was part of the Don Russ product. Fournette 10 on that. And yet another Mariota Refractor 9. And we have an Earl Campbell. This was the green emerald to 5. 5 of 5. And it got an 8. So I was looking for a 9 on that one. Um, this one, okay, this one has some thicker cards and it's also got. Um, the cards that weren't slabbed, so I'd say, I mean, out of all the cards I sent, which is right close to probably about 490 to 500, um, this is the, the ones they didn't grade, so this one was minimum size requirement on all three, it's just a base Fleer Griffey, you got the 93 Jeter upper deck, and then a class of 99 edge to 500, so put those to the side, um, not that disappointing, that's a, actually absolutely, absolutely amazing to send in that many cards, I normally have three come back. So I'm stoked about that. Um, we got some Eric Berry SPXs. So this is just a sweet card. Our defense is definitely missing Berry right now. Um, out of 375, we got two mints. So I'll keep one and throw one in the store. Uh, Michael Thomas. This is a sick patch on here. He's, he's having an, another good season. Mint nine on this. With a, just a uh, National Treasures rookie to 99. We got Derrick Henry. This is the purple. A um, little disappointing with the eight, but I didn't think it was perfect from the start when I sent it. So it's still a sick card, though. Just look at the patch, and it's out of ten. Actually, crazy story about Derrick Henry is all right. So I've I have a friend who gets odds from people out of Chicago and like these handicappers pick like locks and stuff. You know, locks. They're, they're not ever locks until the, the game's over. But uh, yesterday I, I had Tennessee minus seven, and I bet like 600 bucks on it because it was the lock of the year. And the uh, game was pretty much over. And they do a third and five, they do like a misdirection pitch left to Derrick Henry. He runs at 75 yards, and, I, and my bet hits. <laughs> so I got really lucky. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to bet again. I mean, that's probably a lie, but still. Uh, here's Godwin, mint nine on the, uh, the RPA. Same thing with just these are filthy patches. Ten on this one, Chris Godwin, and this one's not as nice in a mid nine. And then we got a cream hunt. This is just it's got a, a nice patch on that one. And this card peaked at about ninety bucks back in September. I think now they're about thirty five. So we all saw it coming. You, you're not going to sustain that type of hobby. So I'll, I'll just go until my battery gives out. I've been trying to do different, I'll do about 15 minutes at a time. That's about all the battery can hold up these days. It's getting old. Uh, Mari Cooper's space score, I mean, I was hoping for a 10 on any like low tier card like this. I mean, that's like a dollar card. You, you're you're kind of looking for 10s if you're gonna spend six bucks to get a slab. Uh, same with this card. So this is just a Manny and I'm working on the Manny uh, registry and I'm gonna try to get to number one because um, one of my favorite players of all time and two not 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 a lot of people collect him and it's tough to find his PSA cards on the internet here's a cool little Reggie Jackson Donruss 85 mint 9 that was just a pack pulled card um, we got a judge this is second year Bowman draft this is a 10 it's the same card stock as the 13 judge um, Tops has gotten really really cheap with their Bowman's Bowman papers. I mean, if if you compare like Bowman paper, 2014 to like B Bowman '94, it's night and day. The cards are way nicer back then. Don't get me wrong; they do a great job with the chrome. I'm just saying the paper is really cheap. Uh, score: Andre Johnson 10. That's a sweet card. 
Here's a Chrome Brendan Rogers PSA 10. So we saw the paper 10. Here's the Chrome. Uh, Garoppolo, this is probably a pretty big card because it's got the 2000 uh, Future Watch Tom Brady look to it. And I know the Derek car is soared in value. So PSA 10 on this Garoppolo, who played okay for San Fran yesterday. Uh, here's a Seeger 14 Bowman Draft Refractor 10. So just kind of a older Corey Seager card. Uh, Brandon Cooks, this one is the Pulsar Refractor 10 from Bowman Chrome. It's out of 271. It's actually a neat looking card, especially slabbed. Tory Holt, this is uh, another mistake here. It should say like silver signature or something. It, it has it, it labeled as the base. So um, I'll, I'll put that one aside as something to fix on their part. Here, here's a cool berry for the uh, berry registry. This was just something out of a pack, I think. Or I just, no, I, I never busted any. I honestly can't remember, guys. I'm sorry. I I just go through so many cards. Uh, 99 Upper Deck Barry 10. He actually didn't play that season. That was the that summer he announced his retirement. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky Gold Team 9. That's from Certified. We have uh, somebody can help me how to pronounce this. Zay Jones, Zay Jones. I don't know. This is a cool card though. It's the pink die cut from Elite to 24, and it's a PSA 10. We've got Miles Garrett. This is the red parallel to 149.10. And then the uh, this is just kind of like the base certified rookie to 999.9. I was just expecting a 10 on here with the white borders. And then we got a couple, I think. Yeah, a couple. This is just the base elite to 499. Miles Garrett. So a 9 and a 9. And then here's a uh, status die cut to 24.8. So. And Mike Williams, turn of the century, auto to 99. I don't know what he's doing this year. I haven't seen anything. So 8-5 on that. Next up, we got a batch of thick cards. So we'll start with this top one, which is a, a nice one. Uh, we got a McCaffrey, kind of like, I think that's the Panthers uh, whiskers there. This is the purple patch to 10. So mid 9 on that. And then we have the orange one. Got a mid 9. That's out of 2.99. This card is neat because the actual patches are game used and not event worn, and it's Jones Drew. He's, he's not a Hall of Famer, but he was a hell of a player for about seven years. So um, it's out of 25. I just got it in a pack. It's a mint nine. I, I, was, I thought it was a 10, but mint nine on that. We had this Devonta, uh, one of the bad grades in the order. So a six on this. It, to me, it looked like a 10. I must have missed something, <laughs> obviously. But uh, I'll probably just keep it in the slab and sell it. I mean, People love to buy card slab. It just looks cool. So Devonta, here's a filthy one, the way he's playing. So I bought this for about 40 bucks. I don't know what they go for now. Probably like double or triple that, but Kamara Purple certified to 10. This one got a nice PSA 9. And then we have the base version, which is out of 299, got an 8. So a little shabby there. Um, AJ Green, this is Elite 2011. This is the base to 9.99. Got a midnight. Then we got some Fournette elites here. Yeah, there's a ton of them. So this is the just the base version of 4.99. So we got a 10, another 10, a mint nine. I'm gonna keep one of the tens and I'll put the rest in the store for people. Um, here, here's a 10 and another nine. So. Did pretty good on those. Um, this is very shabby. Ultra Andre Johnson 8. And that is a very low end card. Probably a dollar fifty card. This is uh, actually a pretty neat card here too. It's not a refractor or anything. It kind of looks like one though. 15 top scroll. This is just like the 4,000 yard club insert. And these were actually case hits I think. They're just not worth anything. Which I don't know. Cards don't make sense a lot of the time. Kind of like life. <clears throat> Here's some VIX, um, and you guys aren't going to be impressed with these at all, but because they were all BCG, BCCG nine, 9s, and that whole service is just a sham, and I've, I'm not going to go off on a tangent again, but they all got 7s. 
they're out of a hundred so nothing to write home about there um, here's an, a Vic uh, this is the upper deck graded action shot to 500 and this one got a 10 here's a breeze this is a uh, one that I needed for the uh, registry and I knew going in it wasn't in awesome condition but I don't come across these very often so I wanted to take a, a shot at an 8 and I got a 7 so it's a Fleer Legacy it's the actual Ultimate Legacy it's 250 so it's it's the parallel version I'm, I'm just gonna keep it and throw it in the registry as a 7 um, Breeze Top so these were definitely disappointing and I told you guys that I, I buy a bunch of these if you watch the uh, Melbins I'm always getting one of these a Vic Tomlinson or Breeze in and I, I tried to pick the best one, and these just weren't up to par. So here's an eight, an eight, and an eight. I think eights go for like ten bucks. So I'm not gonna keep those. And there's actually more. So we got a nine. So I did better on this one. Another nine, and another eight. So not exactly that too impressive. Um, this is a very tough set, guys. If you ever try to grade SP game use. Um, 2001 it's just it's tough to get get much going with the uh, gray borders and edges so an 8 on this one it's still a slip card out of 500 and I think it's it, it, yeah it's obviously it's a rookie card um, this is a Dynagon which was a set that didn't last for too long and this one got an 8 it's out of 599 it's a freshman phenoms and here's a breeze upper deck MVP mid 9 This is awesome too. I, I had a, a seven of this in my uh, registry, and this one got an eight. This is the Star Ruby from Premium to 125. We have the Fleer Hot Prospect seven, so that's awfully shabby. Uh, Vic, another seven from the Rookie Ticket Championship to 100. And lastly, we have a. Genuine future swatch breeze to a thousand PSA 9. That's it. I'm going to charge the camera up later. All right, Alico 3 here, and we're going to get started here with some more Bowman Chrome 2012. Uh, Bryce Harper. This is the Bowman Chrome Prospects card. Definitely a common card, not rare at all. It's not a refractor, but a mid 9, so not terrible. Uh, Upper Deck Minor League Derek Cheater 7. Now, this was a big disappointment. Um, this was one of the cards from ComC. I uh, definitely must have missed some type of something going on, probably on the back because the front looks pretty nice. I mean, if you if you bought this card and you just held it and looked at it, you'd be like, that that card looks pretty damn good. But there must be something else going on. Uh, 2005 Topps Jeter. This is a mint nine. I was obviously going for a ten. I uh, broke a box of this and you know pulled out like Jeter, Griffey, Piazza for possible candidates. This is the only one that I sent. Uh, Mookie Betts. We got the Bowman Chrome. Rookie from 14. This is a PSA 10 on this one. Uh, we've got a judge, and this one was pretty disappointing, but Bowman Chrome Draft Picks. This is a second year card, PSA 8. I think this card's probably worth like six bucks. So it's kind of one of those cards where it, it, the grade doesn't look good at all, but you actually end up breaking even on it. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I like doing these large orders. Uh, this is the variation from 13 Bowman Chrome Addison Russell in the A's uniform PSA 9 Mint swinging variation. We've got um, some more judges. So there's a ton of judges in this order. Let me grab a couple of these. So we got a couple of the Bowman Chrome Draft Rookie 9s. This is a 2015 Bowman. Uh, it's kind of got a chrome refractor look to it. PSA 10. This is kind of like the Scouts Top 100. So number 53, um, he was a highly touted prospect, not in the elite category because of the high strikeouts, I think, in the low average. But, yeah, he was definitely thought of. Um, this is just the finest base one. I think this card's worth about 20 bucks. So I probably bought it for two or three, and then I sent it off. Um, here's This is the second-year Bowman Chrome draft, 10 on this one. So, I mean, these Bowman Chromes and... Bowman Papers from 14 and 13. For the most part, if you look the card over, you should be getting 10s on most of them. They are packed fresh, and it's not a lot that can go wrong. Now here's the, the Bowman Paper Rookie from 13 draft, mint 9. Uh, we've got some Jeters here. Now, these some of these Jeters were massive disappointments, but uh, 
an, an eight on the tops isn't a terrible disappointment. Uh, it's probably about a ten dollar card. So here's an eight, and this is the, this is it's off centered. You can see left to right, but it's actually one of the nicer ones I've bought, Ross. So I must be buying a bunch of sixes. And then the upper deck got a seven, so um, that was disappointing. I've always wanted to buy one of these and get a 10, but it's never happened, and I don't know if it ever will. This card's really deceptively tough. And one card from this set, this is Series 2, but from Series 1, there's a Piazza. It's not a true rookie, but it's uh, got black borders, and uh, I've never, honestly never seen a, like a PSA 10 of that card in auction. Here's a Focus 2000 um, Mint 9. And we got an, another judge. This is, this is I think this is like a $100 card. Somebody can correct me on that if I'm wrong, but... I think this card's worth something. I'm, all these cards are in the, in the store in this stack. I've, I've got a bunch of them listed already. Here's an Edge Spa Future Watch. Uh, some of these are hand numbered, and that's because they were uh, factory uh, defects, and they had people just, uh, they, I think you just sent them back in, you got one back, and then they would write the, the number in on the new one. So an eight, we got the uh, SPX Spectrum Willis McGehee to 25. Sweet looking card and an eight slab, so. And then this was just a pack pulled Hall of Famer. Just a common base Peyton Manning Mint 9. So obviously I was hoping for a 10 on these. Any of these pack pulled um, cards like this of Hall of Famers that are just, you know, base cards that are worth 50 cents. Um, my expectation is, is a 10, but things don't always work out as planned. Um, here's some more from this box. So this was like with the lowest card in the order, I think. Alex Smith, PSA 5. There must be some kind of like surface crease or something it might be something around this window right here but um this one got butchered to a five i just kept it in the slab and put it in the store i don't know i'm, I'm sure somebody will want it. it's got a really nice patch but it's out of 35 and it's exquisite so we got a four net and this is a psa 10 um this is the orange two 399 so P and this set is not the toughest but not the easiest somewhere in the middle uh samaje p Ryan. He's been playing pretty good. This is it's kind of a slight maroon spot there in the corner. So an eight on this. This is out of two ninety nine. So there is some twenty seventeen football. As this order did ship out, um, this order shipped out what like September, very beginning of September, probably around uh, Labor Day. So let's grab another stack. So this is. Just a, this is from that same box as the Peyton Man. It's every now and then I like to break an old product and pull some cards out for grading. And uh, Torrey holds a receiver that I think will definitely get to the Hall of Fame. He's got some kind of record, like seven straight seasons of 1,300 yards receiving. That might be incorrect, but it's something awesome like that. So um, we got some Tom Brady. So of course a lot of people are sending him Brady because his hobby is just so high. But this is a uh, just a home field advantage insert mid nine from 17 Elite. Um, this was decent. Bowman Chrome 2005 Mint 9. I think this was a Com C card. I just kind of, I, I try to go through the pictures that they post because they say every single card is the card that you'll get in the mail. But I mean, even when you put, look at those pictures, you can't see every flaw. You can't see surface scratches, etc. Here's a fi uh, 15 tops Chrome Refractor. And I, I most likely won't keep most of these these are just kind of st stuff to put into the store to stock it um, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of these cards but I know people that definitely are people that will be so this is just a, like a basic insert from 17 downrest with the 1981 design 10 on that one um, this is just base elite right here we got some base certifieds coming up let's do the certified so we got a PSA 10 on the certified this is just the, the base certified it's got white front but the black has dark uh, navy border so that can lend to some chipping PSA 10 on this one and a mint 9 on the third one so I'll, I'll, I'll take that uh, Elite something to watch out for an elite is the front foil see how this this kind of like X looking thing It can be scratched up and then of course you got chipping on almost every single copy from this set And that's just the way the, the cards are um, These Bowman's weren't too hot But they do chip up pretty easy so this is uh, 05 Bowman, so this is Aaron Rodgers' rookie year. So an 8-5 and an 8, so disappointment on those. Um, top scrum refractor, just another one from 15, 10 on this one. We got some more certifieds. I, I, I want a little nuts on the certifieds. Uh, 9 on this one. 
PSA 10 and a mint 9 so those are a bunch of the Brady's from the order um, here, here is a locker room autograph from 99 Bowman's best of edge PSA 9 this is just a slick card um, you can get these raw for like 15 bucks it's just a steal now this top notch is a parallel it's green hey how's it going man yeah all right, here we go with the edge. This is a parallel top notch green. It's actually numbered here on the back here, 26 of 75. So a nice parallel from a, a late 90s insert of edge from uh, Molten Metal, which was a distinctive set from that era. Here's one of the cards from the Fleer Hobby Box. Uh, Ricky, I was looking for a 10 on this one, but we got a 9. And then Edge Showcase. You can't go wrong with this card. This card is classic. I, this is like nostalgic look at that thing so uh midnight on that and that's that set is definitely not a gimme so let's get to the next box okay there's some some cool ones in this box uh we have the elite series which these cards don't have a lot of value but they just look really cool because it kind of brings you back to that early 90s don ross so deshaun watson psa 10 on that one we have a Dalvin Cook Elite Pink. This is the Aspirations to 24. 10 on this. Um, this is a really cool card because the patch is sweet and it got a 10. So it's the Fournette Certified Blue to 50. And it got PSA 10 on that. Next up is the Gold, which is out of 25. And uh, not quite as nice a patch and a mint 9 grade. So the number is on the left corner on this one. On the blue, it's right above the window, which is just a little random. <laughs> Um, so the, here's the card that I was talking about trying to get a 10 on so we're getting closer so a mint 9 on the upper deck Jeter this is just such a cool card one day I'll get it um, here's a top so a mint 9 on the tops so that's a solid grade I think that's about a $20 card and then we've got a format we have the green so this one's on a 5 it's actually numbered 3 of 5 with 3 colors on the patch mint 9 that's a sick card right there we've got the purple so I, I bought up all, all these patch cards in the summer. I just I just like the look of them. Purple's out of 10, and that's a beautiful patch. Mint 9 on this. And then here's an Edge uh, insert. So this is a, I think it's a certified black or mirror black, 20 of 25. And I got an 8, so I'll definitely take that. I don't know if this is in the... Uh, that registry and that's a problem um, somebody post in the comment section how I request somebody to add like add request PSA to add cards to the uh, the registries because I have a bunch of cards that I feel like should be in and when I do try to put them in they're just not part of it so you don't get any any points or credit uh, here's an Eli leaf limited 04 to 150 so I actually gave one of these away last summer it was a Beckett 9 to one of my viewers um, it, it's a beautiful card so I, I bought that one raw and it looked nice so I'll just go until the camera dies I think soon I'll be in the market for a new camera with like a better battery so here's a uh, Ronald Acuna <clears throat> big time prospect um, I don't know if I'd be buying his stuff right now because it's so high, but here's a couple tens. These are just part of the uh, lot that I bought, and uh, they're beautiful cards. It's just, he, he hasn't played in the majors, so he's not proven. Here's a Lindor. This is sweet. This is the Bowman Chrome 11 draft. This one got a PSA 10. Um, exact same card. Different result. PSA 9 on this one. So, still solid. And then we definitely struggled with these. So, th this is the Bowman Draft Paper. Now, this is a very low end card, and uh, most times when you send a card like this, you, you want to at least get a 9. So, with these two 8s, I definitely struggled. Um, they'll probably go into the store, and I'll probably sell them for about 6 bucks. So, it'll be a cool addition to an, an Indians collector just to have it, it slab like that. And these, honestly, I have about 25 or 30 of these. And, the ones I picked were the nicest of the bunch because there's black chipping on these like all, all day long. And then I was pretty happy with this because this one got a mint 9. And it looks a lot like the 8 to me, but the slab says 9, so 9 on that. We got a Ben Benintendi Draft 15, Paper 10. So I don't know what that card's 
selling for probably 20 bucks uh, Marcel Azuna coming off a of monster season doesn't have a lot of hobby to show for it it might be because of Miami but I just don't know it could just be a lot of attention goes to Stanton uh, it's out of 500 well there it focuses badass card PSA 10 on this Azuna we've got uh, Chris Bryant a couple Bowman paper rookies mint nine so nothing crazy there a uh, big time prospect who actually came up and played fairly well Ahmed Rosario this is the Bowman draft refractor mint nine um, Correa so this, this whole stacks papers so let's just pick them up and go through them so this is just the Bowman prospect paper so his Bowman rookie mint nine on this one PS, PSA 9 on this one uh, Gem at 10 on this one so I mean if you're sending in these papers you're, you're, you're going for 9's or 10's I mean mainly 10's but if you get 9's you're not that disappointed and here's another 10 and then uh, here's a mint 9 so did pretty good on the Correa's got a credit PSA for all the work they do I mean I know they make a ton of money off of this but this is a ton of work to get all these looked at and slabbed um, this is might be the coolest card in the order it's a 96 studio master strokes Griffey 10 this is sick this is like from Comsy maybe eBay but it just looked nice to me so PSA 10 on this one we've got a Cal this is just a from like a hobby box 96 upper deck mint 9 so and then Bowman here's a gem at 10 from 94 Bowman I just uh, I, I know this card's not worth a ton even if it's slabbed as a 10 but it's Cal it's, it's a great set looks cool uh, here's the same set Tony Gwynn so mint 9 on this one rest in peace Tony one of the best hitters of all time um, so these next two are pretty shabby I don't know what I'm doing wrong on these Bowman's guys but there must be some trick that I'm missing it looks centered pretty good so we've got Carlos Delgado, and of course we've sent in a Piazza, and we got eights on both, so um, I'm not like too upset about those. Obviously I was hoping for a nine, but eight's not terrible. Um, this is just going to go into the registry. It's a mint nine of the 95 Fleer. I actually always liked this set. I used to break these packs as a kid. Um, there's a lot going on with this set, but it just works. Oh, this this was really cool. So uh, I had a bunch of bunch of these, and the, the majority of them were either um, like chipping at the bottom or they were off center. So I just looked. This, this is what I do sometimes. I go online and look at a picture of some PSA tens of the card I'm sending in, and just look at like the centering. And I I saw this one where the uh, the name started and how much border there was left. <laughs> this is not going really in depth, but I mean, this is like the best center one I had and it looked the nicest, so I got a 10, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, we got some 88 Fleers. These were just pulled from a random hobby box from Baseball Card Exchange. So Tony Gwynn and Reggie Jackson, mid nines. Uh, obviously, I'm hoping for 10s on those. Uh, chipper Bowman, this is sick. This is actually a fourth year chipper. He still looks like a baby though. But then again, he's only like 21 years old. So, um, PSA 10 on this one. We got a Mattingly. This is a disappointment. I think I did bad on these Don Russes. Yeah, I'd, I guess I don't understand the set too well. Obviously, that's off center pretty bad, but I was hoping for like a 9 on this. So it's a Diamond Kings Mattingly. Just a neat looking card. We got uh, George Brett. 85 Don Russ. And then we got Pete Rose 8. So those were des definite, definitely disappointments. Um, Chipper Jones, Collector's Choice, Silver Signature. There are much rarer variations gold signatures which are highly collectible cards this chipper got a mint nine so not not terrible um we got manny this is a huge disappointment this is a 25 cent manny so if you send this in you you should be getting a 10 or what the hell are you doing so um <laughs> eight so it is what it is guys i mean there's good grades and bad grades and uh 89 don russ nolan ryan so but i have found somebody to help me scan the orders get a second pair of eyes on my cards because I mean at some point you have to be humble and you know I don't pick up everything I don't think PSA graders do so to have somebody else proof, proof read almost or proof look at the cards you, you kind of can pick out some flaws and 
weed out card so this is a terrible <laughs> an eight on this summit chipper i mean that's a card you should be getting a nine or ten on if you're submitting and then we got joe carter down rest and eight's not terrible on that but still so i'm just i'm being kind of hard on myself because there's definite room for improvement for me on these large orders now that the, the thing i'm trying to do is send in these large orders but send in quality over quantity so I mean send in cards that I think look really really clean to have chance at nines and tens instead of just churning out a bunch of cards and I'm trying to improve on that so uh, 96 tops Frank Thomas 9 that's for the registry neat card uh, chipper upper deck I had a stack of like 50 of these and I just picked some of the nicest ones and this one was one of them mint 9 we got the 94 tops. This got a mint nine of Frank Thomas. That's a sweet follow through on the swing. The foot off the ground in those classic high top uh, Reebok shoes. Got a couple cows. These were either from boxes or vending boxes. So a mint nine is awesome. So an 82 Fleer cow mint nine and then an eight. So that's not bad. Uh, strawberry. An eight's not too great on this. So I think the main problem with this order in terms of grades is I, I did bad on the baseball cards from the 1980s so maybe I'll just stop submitting so an 8 on this Ozzy um, Griffey and an 8 on the upper deck so this will be one I'll just probably try to sell for about 6 bucks so I mean even when you get an 8 on a card like this you, you can still break even if I mean I'm not totally into sending these cards in to try to make money a, a lot of this bulk order stuff is just not so it, it's an absolute blast getting the cards back and scanning them in so but I mean at some point you have to think okay how much is the card worth if I don't want to keep it because I mean you gotta move you can't keep all these cards you gotta move them to new homes this is a cool I, I like the photo on this chipper so mint nine it's, that's 95 tops here's a nice Johnny bench 75 top seven this was just from Comsey I think and it came in clean and I Thought I'd throw it in the order, so and I'm, I'm actually gonna have about 50, the probably 50 to 70 uh, vintage cards in my next 500 card order. And we, I don't know if I'll do the video together or do them separate. Um, this is pretty pathetic. So a six on this Vlad from '97 upper deck. I just that's a neat card. It's not, it's not really a rookie, but it says star rookies. His rookie's '95. Uh, here's a Brett Donruss '88 10. Whoops, dropped the. <laughs> Uh, Victor Robles. This is the orange. I think it's a 25, but PSA 10 on this one. We got a badass Manny, PSA 9. It's the same design as the Jeter from 93 Series 2 Upper Deck. Uh, Bezio. This is one I was looking for a 10 on because it's, it's still only worth about 20 bucks as a 10. So we got an 8. That's bad. And then some more 1980s baseball cards that I just don't know what I'm doing, I guess. So an 8 on the Brett with a huge chime. Then we got Yaz 8. So uh, Bryce Harper. This is 2009 Upper Deck. I'm not sure how you get these, if it was like a box set for the USA or if it was packs. But there's an 8 on that. And then we have another Piazza Bowman and another 8. So that last stack of cards was pretty, pretty bad. There are, there are a lot of highlights and a lot of uh, lowlights in this order. So we're starting off with the Moss Bowman. And I think these are Mosses, yeah. Moss Bowman 8. So take it for what it is. This is a badass insert. I don't know what the odds are. But I know they make a site called, like, um, I can't even think of it. But it's got the odds for all, like, 90s baseball products, 80s. Like, the odds of inserts etc and I wish I had one for football just to see how like how rare a card like this is really so it's called the Quasers uh, LT MVP mint 9 we got LT UD Vintage mint 9 tops LT 8 so there, there's always two or three of these in each order I send in I feel like and I always get 8s or 9s <laughs> Stadium Club PSA 9 on this Moss um, we got the Bowman Interstate, which is, I think you get like, I don't know, maybe six of these per box. So this is definitely isn't a common card. An 8 on this one. Uh, we got the EX8. So there's a ton of 8s. So I'm just, uh, must have just been missing things on these cards. 
this is the card I just wanted slab, so I, I didn't really care too much about the grade. Um, it's the Aspirations Tomlinson from 01 Elite to 95, so an 8 on this. We got a lot of reflection coming in. Uh, Ultra Series 2, Moss in the Pro Uniform, 8. We've got a score 98 Moss, 9. So this one's actually not uh, labeled correctly. This is, says Tops Collection, and it doesn't say Collection on the slab. So if you want to put it in for your uh, registry, which I was going to do, it wouldn't uh, go in there right. So I'll have to send an email to PSA. I mean, they are human. Throat's getting dry. This is just pathetic. Six on this, 98 Tops. This, this set's not even tough. There must be a crease or a fold on it. Um, so these are like the... <clears throat> I'm not going to call them fakes, but they're not like the original uh, Legacy Collection Row 2s. So a 7 on this Moss to 100. We've got another Moss Tops, 8. Um, this is Bowman's Best Performers, just a low-end insert from Bowman's Best, 10. Here's an LT Upper Deck MVP, Mint 9. A couple more of the LT tops. So we got a 9 and an 8.5. We're actually getting through a lot of these. Alright, here we go. OJ Howard, this is the purple. Purple parallel to uh, 99, mint 9. We've got an elite, elitist Dalvin Cook insert, mint 9. Uh, Joe Mixon, this is just the uh, base version of 499, so pretty shabby with a mint 9. We've got the purple parallel, this one is an 8 to 99. Um, David Johnson, prism base, 10. Joe Mixon, PSA 10 on the base version to 499. We've got some gold teams, so we've got Deshaun Watson gold team, this is a pretty common insert from 17 certified. Mint 9 on that one. And a couple Dalvins. They both got 9. So obviously I was going for 10s on those. So minor disappointments on those ones. Um, David Johnson. This is just the Topps Chrome 15 Refractor. We've got uh, Deshaun Watson. Gold Team. A couple 10s. So that was pretty nice. A couple PSA 10s on the Gold Team insert. And we've got another one of the Elite Series. So this one got a Mint 9. And up next is the Don Russ Rated Rookie, which got a mint 9. So there's the back on that, which often lends to chipping. And then some David Johnson. So we got the Finest Base 10. And uh, this is the Refractor, just the Base Refractor 10. And then uh, this is just the Base mint 9. So that stuff's all in the store. Um, next one. Uh, John Ross, certified gold. He really hasn't done a thing this year. This is the gold to 25 PSA 9 mint. Um, Corey Davis, this is the mere orange to 99. This was pack pulled PSA 9 with three colors. Uh, minor disappointment on this. I was hoping for a 9, but it is a badass card. It's the mere purple from 15 certified. David Johnson to 10. This got a PSA 8. There's the back on this one. Uh, Mariota, this is just kind of like a top supreme copper base card to 194, mint 9. Tom Savage, he's a starter now I guess. Uh, mint 9 on this Spa 14. This one's out of, what is it, 350? Cooks, kind of like a jumbo relic from 14 threads to 75. That one got an 8. Uh, OJ Howard, certified, got an 8. So these are pretty shabby here. That's got a nice patch though to 199 on this one. Um, we got Dalvin Cook. This is just the uh, base jersey. It's not numbered, so PSA 10 on this base one. But we'll definitely take that. Uh, Joe Mixon 8 on this. This is the orange, the RPA to 349. And then we got a uh, LeBron Bowman draft picks and prospects gold mid nine. That's badass.
That'll go into the registry, which is always growing. Always trying to improve that one. Uh, some more Brady. So let's just go to these two. These are the certified accomplishments. A very common rookie from 17 certified. So a 10 and a mint 9. Uh, Khalil Mack. This is the, no the low number common one. PSA 10 on this one from 14 Spa. We got the Breeze. Uh, photo variation 14 with the yellow pants. PSA mint 9. Uh, Khalil Mack. This is a 10 on the, the draft insert from 14 contenders. Here's a Breeze. Uh, exact same card as we just saw. I guess there's some more of these. Uh, mint 9 on this one. And then we've got the Chrome one. Same picture. It's just Chrome. And that one got a 10. So that's pretty sick. Uh, Brandon Cooks. This is the variation. These are actually tough pulls. I think you got about one per hobby box or jumbo box. PSA 8. We got Jarvis Landry. This is the Refractor 8. That's awfully shabby. That's from 14 Tops Chrome. I was looking for a 10 on that. Uh, Mike Evans. Blue Wave Refractor from 14. Mint 9. Calvin Benjamin. This is a Variation SP. And it got a Mint 9. Uh, Derek Carr, I think we got a few of these. Yeah, so here's some Derek Carrs. So this is just the low number base. So mint, gem mint 10. This one got an 8. Uh, gem mint 10. Another gem mint 10. And a gem mint 10. So overall, nice job on those. There shouldn't be too much that can go wrong with those base spa cards. Uh, here's a badass Kamara. This is the blue one to 15. I probably got this really cheap, like 10 bucks. I don't know what, it's probably worth a lot more now, but 8.5, which is solid on this. Um, and then Kaiser. I don't know why I graded this, but there's a lot of hype for him in the summer. Uh, PSA 9 on the gold team insert. So one of these slabs is, is cracked pretty bad. I'll, I'll, actually, Two of the top ones are so this is how it came. Whoops, <laughs> that didn't help. But um, it it came like this with the with this uh, line going down the center of it. It's a finest die cut from 16 Griffey. So I'll have to send send a picture to PSA, and I'm, I'm sure they'll just have me send it back and re-slab it. This one too, the whole side of the slab's missing, and it's got a crease, a uh, crack in the slab. Um, same set, different different card. So like the finest career moments of Ken. I'll put those to the side. Um, these were just pack folds. I, th I think I got six in one hobby box of this card. It's just a badass, iconic card. So, Mint 9 and Mint 9. I was hoping for 10s on those. That's the uh, nicknames from 93 Triple Play. Uh, Power Driven, I'll probably just keep this and throw it into the Ken Registry. It's an 8. So, cool uh, insert from 96 Upper Deck. We got a couple of bronze. This is the, the tops, the base tops rookie. PSA 8 and a nice PSA 9. So, did a nice job on that one. We got Jeter. Bowman's Best Blue. Mint 9. This is a second year card. And then we try to do the upper deck. which is, This set's really tough. So this is the Electric Diamond. It got an 8. And then I, I just did bad on Jeter cards, honestly. These are terrible. So Collector's Choice Base 8. And then Collector's Choice SE 95 8. So. Uh, Collector's Choice 95. Just the base version. Got another 8 here. So, don't know what's going on with those. Um, here's another triple play nicknames Griffey 9. We got 93 Bowman Jeter. This one got an 8. And then we got some tops. So so there's five tops, Jeter's. This is the, the best of the bunch of all the raw ones I've bought. So an eight. Another eight. A mint nine. Another mint nine. This is actually a fairly tough set. And a third mint nine, so not not bad at all on the Jeter topses. Um, what else we got? Some uh, four nets. So four net. Here's the uh, aspirations red to 73. It's eight five. Four net prestige base mint nine. 
This is uh, Elite or um, Don Russ, the rookies. Pardon me, it's not Elite. Here's an Eli. This was the Aspirations Pink to 24. Got a mint nine. Oh, this is just a cool card because I, I still collect cooks. So it's it's the blue to 15, PSA 9. Saints jersey with the Patriots logo. Um, Alvin Kamara. This is the orange to 25, mint 9. We've got Mariota. This is the 60th anniversary insert, 10. Um, the 1989 Super Rookie insert, 9. This is just the uh, Don Russ base rookie, and I got a mid nine with the rated rookie. Uh, Mari Cooper, a couple bases. We got one nine and an eight, so that's awfully shabby. On those, you'd expect tens. That's a very low end card. Um, here's a Cooper Orange Refractor 10 from Platinum. And then uh, just the base one got a 10. Looks like we got some Jameis here. Jameis base chrome, mid nine. Um, is there another one? Oh, we got the Refractor PSA 10. The Prism. Mid 9. The Green Refractor. Not numbered. PSA 10 on this one. And Prestige. The, the base, the more common college one. PSA 10. All right, next up we have the uh, Vladimir Guerrero. This is the Wave of the Future, 97 card, badass card. PSA 9, mint. This camera seems cockeyed. There we go. Uh, I just like the photo on this Tony Gwynn. 96 upper deck. Mint 9. We got uh, Craig Biggio, 89 tops rookie, PSA 9. Uh, this is a silver signature 95, second year A-Rod Collector's Choice 6. <laughs> uh, they'll go in the store. I'm sure there'll be a lot of interest for that one. Uh, and then we got Manny Tops 92. I mean, you pretty much need a 10 for this to, to be worth your while. So a 9. It's probably about a $5 card. We got Bryce Harper. Um, I don't know what the hell happened with these, but 7, 8, and 7. And these are all the uh, Pro Debut 2002. So, or, excuse me, 2012. So that's a minor league set. And then we have a Schmidt. Michael Jack Schmidt. Mint 9 from 85 Donruss. Uh, cool Bonds. 88 Donruss, Mint 9. This is just something out of a pack. Uh, David Ortiz, Gem Mint 10. This is second year Bowman's best base card. It's a neat looking card on the back, too. We got Manny. That's a uh, Topps Base 9. So. I'm probably one of the only ones sending in many base cards, but uh, it's for the registry, and you got to have fun in collecting. Uh, Ricky Henderson, 88 Donruss, Mint 9. we got Reggie Jackson. This is a pretty good one. 80, or sorry, 75 tops, PSA 8. So I think I got this off of eBay Raw. Obviously Raw if I sent it in. Um, Bowman Chrome Refractor, Charles 8. This one's not numbered. We got uh, Lindor. This is a second year 2012 Chrome uh, Blue Wave Refractor. That one's not numbered, but it is PSA 10. Uh, Miguel Sano, a couple of these. This is the best of the bunch. This The surfaces just look like a cat got it onto most of them and scratched it to hell. But PSA 8's on these two, so nothing special there. Uh, here's some Beckhams, so let's do the finest. Uh, finest Beckham's PSA 10 on this one. We got a mint nine and a PSA 10. Um, some more finest Beckham's. I sent a ton in PSA 9, PSA 10. So I mean, I don't know if it'd be harder to get a uh, lower grade on these tops finest cards. They just come out of the pack crispy. Mint nine and a 10. If they're not scratched up, you know, you don't have dings, you're, you're gonna do good. Uh, Bowman's best. Oh, the Beckham insert, PSA 10. And we got this Beckham. This is the base spa. Very low end card, PSA 10. Uh, some Derek Carr stuff. We got Topps Platinum Rookie, PSA 10. 
We got his tops finest. A couple of these. The first one got a mint nine, and the second one PSA ten. So this is the tops chrome uh, rookie die cut kind of re refractor type of card. PSA ten on this one. Um, there's also some tops prime here. A couple of tops primes. The first one's nine. This isn't the SP version, and the second one got a ten. So. This is the insert from Topps Prime, Prime Rookies, PSA 10. And then a th one authentic moment, nine, so definitely wanted a 10 on something this low end. And then a couple of the uh, high number SPs, so PSA 10, another 10. You get about three of these per box, I would say. They're not like short, super short print. All right, guys, this is it. This is the last box. So um, I kind of like the last one. I mean, with about 500 cards, you don't want to go too slow because I think I mean, there's so many cards at sea. You don't want to spend too much card and time on each card. So I was trying to go at a nice pace here. Uh, Prestige Brady. This is the 17 base Brady. At this point, I'm grading Brady base cards. Um, I'll I'll keep this for the registry. So this might be a little tough with the foil, but it's 05 SPX Mint 9. And then we've got uh, some 17 inserts. So we've got the Donruss base Mint 9 and the Team Heroes Mint 9. Those are just a low end Donruss insert. Uh, this is Elite Spellbound. This is the A, and it's out of 299. Rookies and Stars 6.5 on this one. I don't know what the hell happened, but it's 05 Rookies and Stars. But I'm, I'm, I, I bet that sells for about five or six bucks in the store. Uh, score 8. Tough set with uh, the red borders, so not too upset with the eight. Um, we've got some more. This is just an elite series of 15 Brady and a highlights hollow to 100. It's numbered down in the bottom left, but kind of that retro Donruss design going on there. Um, we've got a couple of the Prism 16 illuminations, which are badass. So PSA 10 and PSA 10. So a couple tens. I bet that card's worth about 60 bucks. I don't know. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, Gold Team Brady, 9. Elite Series Veterans, Mint, 9. We've got the Field Vision. This is kind of like the base version. But 10 on that, and it's out of 299 So there's that one. We've got Stars, Mint, 9 from Certified, 15. Just all kinds of Tom Brady stuff in here. Uh, Prestige 16, so last year's Prestige, PSA 10 on this one. And Certified Accomplishments 8, that's really shabby. Uh, 8 on this Contender, 2006. And a Mint 9 to end the whole order, and I'll probably keep that for the registry. So that's the order. Tons of low end stuff got slabbed. Um, I've, I've had 370 of these cards. I'm just throwing out a number, getting to the store. So if you guys like anything, check out the store. I, I do flat rate shipping, so you can buy 20 of these and only spend $3 in shipping. And uh, I'll have some priced with best offer, so throw out an offer. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys like the uh, video. Later.